Oh, you? I need to see. So good to see. Wow. And this is the one you've been doing 30,000 kilometers. On. Yeah, except the Arabian part, I did the African wind because we were yeah. off the roads and stuff. Wow. This doesn't do well uh, off the paved surface. And you're you're using uh, using GPS, yeah? Oh yeah. Or does it does it connect to that? Uh, as well? That one is not working. That was oh. working in the United States. It's not working. Yeah, <laughs> India actually. It's, it's on mileage. Yeah. It's not on kilometers. Wow. Wow. So this is what's getting you to. Uh, no, this is guiding me. Uh, I have a thinner. Yeah, yeah, that you need that. You need that. Worse than the bumps, but I don't know how you manage. You gotta keep your eyes on the road to see that our every Indian moment. roads. Every moment. Every, every moment. moment. One little off bump and then you. But did you pick that? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to know. Did you, did you specifically? I've yeah. been riding this in US. This is my US yeah? motorcycle. Yeah. Now I got it. Oh wow. So you've been. When did you, when did you get introduced to that bike? Uh, yeah, I wanted to ride, uh, I rode in 2020, Andy. I rode uh, 17 Native American meters, wow. which was over 11,000 miles. Uh -huh. So, at that time, I got this to ride. You picked this one, like what did you, like is this, is it the mobility, is it the comfort of it or you knew that this had the stamina to do? This definitely has the stamina, this is a inline six engine, six hmm. cylinder. 1600 thing yeah. and uh, it uh, you know you can you can ride you can crawl at uh, 10 kilometers effortlessly on cruise you can cruise you can put it on that's cruise control that, at that 10 I'm kilometers. sure the distance that you're doing I think that's that's an amazing feature that's very important otherwise you can't ride like a dog but I have to say I feel that you know we're working out six days a week trying to be fit yoga freehand stuff but if somebody tells me to do 30,000 kilometers, 30,000 kilometers, I don't know how you manage and no what's workout. the Okay, what's the secret? What's the no secret workout, to this fitness? No workout, no exercise, no nothing. Yeah. So what's the secret? I know, see, it's it's not the machine, it's the man behind the machine <laughs> who has to ride it and 30,000 kilometers is do, not yeah, a... You must do some inner engineering. <laughs> well, I, I actually am. We were discussing it with your team. Uh, maybe we'll come, we'll come up to the ashram and try. I didn't need to know the secret ingredient <laughs> of the soup that you have, that you're having. See, between this machine and this machine, I don't want to compare brands. Anji. The performance is only a question of engineering, isn't it? True. Better True. engineering. True. True. The True. same. Correct, same goes with us. Better, yes. Same goes with us. This is just a bio machine. If you engineer it well, it will do things that you can't imagine possible. So then you see biological age and time and, and practice can be negated with that, like can be overcome? There's no such thing, that's all in your mind. Ah. <laughs> because, uh, you know, like I was in... I, I was in Bucharest. Anji. I was to do an interview at 7 p.m. and I was riding and then the weather got really bad and the roads were bad. So we got delayed and uh, I reached there at 11.15. But the anchor and the whole TV team were still waiting. And then uh, this is nine and a half hour ride I have done that day. And I walked straight into the interview and an hour and a half I did all kinds of questions, whatever the usual stuff. And then this anchor is saying, Sadhguru, at this age, how do you do this? Over nine hours you ride and just walk into an interview and you speak every, about everything that we ask you without hesitation, you answer and you're still looking fine. And he repeated this thing at this age, at this age three times. <laughs> I said, hey, wait, man. <laughs> I have lived my life so intensely. I never had the time to get old. You Love need it. time to sit down and get old. It's the inner, it's the inner If you don't, if if you don't have the time to get old, how do you get old? <laughs> it's, a, it's a script that goes inside, like we do in movies, whatever it's script It's not just the script, you can write whatever script you want. Mm. But still, the functioning of the physical existence in the world is just a question of engineering. Ocean has its own engineering, all right? Correct. The coconut tree has its own engineering. If it's wrongly engineered, it'll fall down. No, the, true. That, and that the same goes for the human being and the machines. For 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 the youth of the country and for all of us who think that we have, we also have a busy schedule. Being in acting and performance and being in the public eye, I feel I've obviously you know followed and seen most of your chat, and it's something that I've personally gained at times. It's something that you would say would affect the Indian engineering, and that would you know give that sense of energy the next day. But still, I feel. 
also being in the public eye, you're meeting so many people, so many energies, I'm assuming, and you know, there are people around us as well. You have a choice. Uh, how do you, now, point being, how do you keep yourself balanced when maybe you can't keep, say, others balanced? Like, what's the key? Do you ever get angry? Do you ever get angry? Do you ever get... You want me to? <laughs> no, I need to know the secret ingredient again because I know as us as actors and public guys, you know, we get... See, it's insulated. not that I'm incapable of anger or anything for that matter. I'm capable of everything. Correct. It's okay. just that I have not given others to determine what I shall be right now. I've kept those things to myself. Right now there's a debate going on. Some uh, journalists came in Delhi, Anji. asking utterly idiotic questions Anji. repeatedly and intentionally. It's not like if you're stupid and ask me a stupid mm. question, I don't mind, I'll answer that <laughs> because it means something to you. You come with a devious intent mm. and go on asking these devious questions. Then I said, shut off the damn camera, you know. Yeah. So now they're going ahead, oh, he teaches inner engineering, he needs inner engineering. Oh. <laughs> All right? <laughs> no, I think that's a damn good thing because I need in engineering for sure, that's why I am who I am. Now they, these people who are, have wild intentions, now they're advertising for Inner Engineering. Everybody, even Sadhguru needs Inner Engineering. This is great ad. That's a good thing, yeah, <laughs> correct. For the same medicine that you're providing and you've invented and made. <laughs> of course, so. I am an Inner Engineer myself all the time <laughs> No, you're only human and I feel it's a learning. No, 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 no. Come no? On. You need See, to not use it like… the evolutionary scheme of things, Human is the flower of evolution, it's a peak, Andrew. Andrew. it's the top of the world. So never use the word human, I am only human. Say, I'm human, huh? It's the top of the world. Come on. That's… that's… yeah, that's a good change <laughs> from today onwards. We'll all be saying that we are humans. I am a human, human yeah. with pride because with pride. being human is the peak of evolution on this planet. Absolutely. We don't know what Absolutely. your status will be if you go somewhere else, but mm -hmm. at least on this planet you are the flower of evolution. You must have fragrance. Absolutely. Going on saying, I'm only human, what is that? That's true actually, I don't know, it's If you were an ant, kids. you could say, I'm only an ant, these idiots are stepping on me. <laughs> Being a human, you can't say that. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, that's a, that's a good change, I think, for all of us who's <laughs> watching today, especially the younger youth, because we always feel, you know, if you're tired, if you're busy, we always use that as an excuse that our machinery is only capable of this. But I think none of us have experienced our. Depends speak. how well engineered you are. What well engineering means is, Andrew. now uh, I don't want to compare brands, but <laughs> yeah. let's say a motorcycle. Andrew. How smoothly the engine runs depends on how well aligned it is and how well engineered it is. It's all engineering, Andrew. all right? Material quality is there, of course, mm. but it's engineering. Little off alignment, it'll wear out in no time. Andrew. This is a great machine, but if you ride it without oil, yeah. For five kilometers, it will be finished. Yeah. That means no lubrication means it's gone. So Correct. these are all aspects within you. One thing is to be well engineered, another thing is to be well lubricated within. Mm. Grace is the lubrication. Once you invite grace into your life, you're well lubricated. Now there is no friction within you. If outside some friction comes, you deal with it the way it needs to be dealt with. But inside there is no friction. Essentially it means and there may be many issues in life, but I am never the issue in my life. You're not creating obstacles. I am not the issue. You're not the issue. Correct. It's the external. <laughs> you have to know that differentiation. I, I loved what you had said in one of your videos before that we are only either struggling with our memories or then with our imagination. Mm -hmm. I found that that really beautiful. That all people doing it all the time. Summarize, yes. They, and I think they are not able to use their faculties for their benefit. They're using their intelligence, their thought process, their cerebral capabilities and their emotional capabilities all against themselves and they think there's something wrong with the world. I thought that was very well put and that's exactly what uh, even today we try to do with our… We, even our movies, so we're trying to build better memories or influence just the way you no, are doing no, it. I would… Uh, I know there are people will hate me for this but… Uh, our movies and uh, television acts must change to build a better society. No, for sure. I know it's… Uh, you will say, it's my art, I can do what I want. Yes, you can. But at the same time, right now, the way people handle their emotions hmm. in the movies and especially, I think, televisions, I don't watch them. Yeah. But here and there, when I'm switching news channels, I get to see some stuff. 
<laughs> See, today it's become like this, whether it's Hollywood or here in India, if I disagree with you, the only way to deal with it is to smash your face or shoot you in the head. Or if you are a woman, throw a plate or food at somebody else, all right? I'm saying, is this the way ordinary people dealing with their emotions in their homes? They are not doing this, but right now you're building a culture that this is the way to do it. If you agree with your husband, disagree with your husband, throw the food plate at him. If he disagrees with you, he slaps you in the face. What is this nonsense? This doesn't happen in most homes. Yes. In very crude, drunken homes, these things happen. In regular homes, these things don't happen. Correct. But right now, you're building a narrative that this is the way. We need to understand there is a certain responsibility. Once you have an influence over yeah. people, there is a certain responsibility which you have to exert rightly. This doesn't mean you're going to be on moralistic nonsense, that you can't say anything, you can't do anything, that's not what I'm saying. But constantly projecting wrong images of a society, wrong imagery of how human beings should be. Tell me all the posters, I don't see the movies, but all the posters, especially if you go in the south, everywhere somebody is carrying a machete, blood dripping from the machete. So you, you are a hero only if you carry a machete and chop off somebody's head? No. What is happening to us? Well, sadly, I think it's become something that, that sells or something that is attracting. No, it's no. a business well, after see, all, you have become is, slaves of that. The thing is, right now if I chop off your head, yeah. here thousand people will gather to see the chopped off head. Right now if you and me talk something sensible, there are twenty-five people, all right? It's all right. So you must get your sense upscaled in such a way, for sense also thousand people will gather. This is what I've been doing with people. Initially when I thought my programs, uh, first program is seven people. I've even thought a program with four people. Today if I announce a program, there'll be not less than fifty thousand people. Mm. But it's taken that much time, a lifetime of dedication to build this to place. It is not that at that time I was talking less sense than now but it takes Correct. that much time. Yeah. But instead of that, if you want to be on the front page of the newspaper, chop off somebody's head. What is this? I'm, I'm un unfortunately, movies are doing this. Uh, I know nobody will like what I'm saying, but if we don't take care of these things, right now in America everybody is talking about gun violence. Yes. Where is there one… is there at least ten percent of the movies without shooting somebody? Yeah. Then how come you're surprised if somebody does it? You're fantasizing, but it's… it's a vicious circle, yes, somebody has to break it, to, to not be enslaved by business and have a more social… Uh, uh, that's a good thing you use the word business, yeah. because everybody is hiding behind artistic freedom. It's no, no, business. No. It is business. Okay. Yeah, I, business I, should have rules, right? We are a victim of… Uh, correct, absolutely, absolutely See, we're a victim. If I… if I do a business, this guy is selling chai, there is a rule for him. He can't just make uh, tea whichever he way, he way he wants and serve it to me. He right. can't put poison in it and give it to me, correct. all right? Correct. So there is a rule for him. He may not have a license, he's a small chai guy, but still there is a law for him. But how come there's no law? Because when it's convenient, it's business, when it's not convenient, it's art. It doesn't work like that. I'm saying, I'm appealing to every director, every producer, every actor, please, uh, it doesn't matter whether you make uh, two hundred, five hundred movies in a year or not. If you strive to make something good, it may take more time. But believe me, long term, you will be remembered forever for what you have done and it will have a good impact on the society. It's not that it's your business to shape the society, I don't agree with that. Yes, Correct. you have the freedom to do it the way you want. Correct. But when there is a whole generation of movies just chopping off heads, bashing up people's faces, so any argument, any disagreement can only be settled if your nose bleeds, only then a debate is settled. This is not right. No, absolutely. I feel, I mean, there is merit in what you're saying and before uh, we go ahead, I think you've had a long, long ride and we can have some fresh Naril Pani. It will need, and as I said, uh, I was also very intrigued about your nutritional aspect. No, no, sir. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> oh, what is this? He's got something special for me. Oh, He's achha. giving you the bad one, oh, big achha. one. Achha, achha. Okay. Because your Mumbai <laughs> guy, he gives you big one. 
He gives me a good one. <laughs> and he Press gives me without a straw. Kya farak hai? Is ye jada meter hai, what light meter? Oh, it's a light meter. Well, it's, this has also that, become. That is what he tells you, the Tamil guy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's connected to the campaign and though. So yes, and, uh, and he knows I like to kiss the coconut, but he gives you a straw. I know, he gives me a straw. So that introduction is so lovely. Maybe it's a peel it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do But I've heard, um, Sadhguruji, that with, from your campaign only, that even an orange, what my grandparents had, nutritionally, like, because again, coming back to fitness from the youth point of view, had more vitamins than an orange that I'm having today. Everything, not just orange. <laughs> Everything. On like an average in the United States, because that's the only place where there is some kind of measure, vegetables, the micronutrients in vegetables has come down by 90%. 90%. Wow. 90. So, so the nutrition in India, that we are trying to take, we are just missing it out. It's Never. possible these these coconut trees, looking at them, they are not healthy. I, these are not from this one, obviously. Uh, it depends where they grow. It may be different from place to place. Mm. But generally, as the microbial activity in the soil goes down, everything becomes weaker. Because this is the foundation of life. It is not just about nutrition. Life itself, the fundamentals of life itself is in the microbial life. Mm. How strong and vigorous they are, that's how vigorous life will be. Mm. People ask me, how did I become a soil scientist? How did I become an ecologist or an environmentalist? I am not any of this, I am not even an activist. I am like a worm. I have crawled around for six and a half decades on this planet. I am mm. saying I am a worm because a worm crawls on the soil, and it knows exactly what's happening. It doesn't need a soil scientist or a climate activist to tell climate is changing. He knows it's changing for sure. It has that sense. No, more... come on, it affects his life. Yeah. It's not sense. You think sense is only here. Sense is all over. Right now, the human problem is they are not living on this planet. They have created their own little planet in their head and they live there. You're living in your own world, somebody living in their own world. And Tell me, if you and me right now are living in two different worlds, are we in reality or hallucination? We're hallucinating. We're hallucinating. Your business is Imagine. movies to make <laughs> so people selling, hallucinate. <laughs> we're, selling, we're selling dreams, we're selling but, imaginary But the good thing about the movie is in the end, it says the end. But and if you start life. in your head, you can't say the end, that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> I've also heard one thing of it, it's a horror movie that's going on, so you would not know when to end it. <laughs> oh, they don't know when to end the horror? Mm. Okay, we'll... Should we take a stroll? Have you been to this park before, Sadhguruji? Oh, I've never been here. Never been here before? Well, when Mumbai. I come to Mumbai, I'm just Anji. from airport to conference hall, conference hall to hotel, hotel oh, wow. to airport back. Oh, wow. That is your... That's all I do. <laughs> we think our lives are hectic. Somebody has been inviting me that uh, I must come and watch the flamingos. They organized a boat and everything two, three times, but I couldn't make it. <laughs> oh, in Mumbai? Somewhere Maybe. around Mumbai they There said. are flamingos? Wow, that's surprising. There are flamingos somewhere here. I feel because it's all connected, <laughs> even the soil... Okay, coming back to just one question which actually I was discussing with friends of mine yesterday and they're like, oh, we've, you know, we've seen this amazing campaign that's happening save soil, but what they missed out is as the youth or as a working average adult, what can we do in our daily routine, small steps that would help us contribute to this, to this amazing cause? The, uh, why you are a uh, reasonably well-known guy, why do you want to take a small step, huh? Oh, not me, yes, not me, <laughs> correct. I would love to, I'm here, I'm here. Take some big step, huh? Say, correct. No, absolutely. <laughs> I'm here and available for this cause that I truly, genuinely believe in. So, it's everybody not... asks this, uh, what can I do, what can I do? Anji. So, you must understand this. If you go home and fix your kitchen garden today, make Anji. it good, that's very cute. But, but it's not, it's not a solution. Because the problem correct, that we are addressing is in the agricultural soils of the world, which accounts for 51 million square miles, per square kilometers of land, all right, mm. which is nearly 70-71 percent of mm. arable land, mm. is what we're talking about. 
And this is that piece of geography where every day human hand is tending to it, agricultural lands. Mm. Men and women are working on it. But that is in the most horrific condition. Not a single nation, not even one nation in the world okay. has the minimum organic content of three percent average. Not even one nation. The highest is in Northern Europe, 1.48. Oh, that's the highest? That's the highest. And this has changed in, what, fifty years, you would say? So I would say since uh, 1925, 1930, uh, years. nearly ninety years or hundred years. This is largely the biggest change has happened in seventy years. Most of the, uh, you know, the, the loss of biodiversity is big in the last seventy years. In India, I would say it is in about forty, forty-five years that damage has happened. So, is it something that our ancestors did better and then we have lost Sadhguruji for being again the next generation? Or is it, what would you attribute this? Uh, See, one thing is, uh, in the beginning of twentieth century, our population was 1.6 billion people. Today, it's inching towards eight billion people. By 2050, they are saying it'll be 9.6 billion people, right? One thing is the population is rising, not necessarily because of uh, uh, enhanced reproduction, it is because extension of human life. The life Correct. expectancy is getting better. In India, for example, in 1947, the average life expectancy of an Indian was 28 years. Oh, wow. Maybe you should still be alive, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> 28 is nothing today, today's yeah. day and age, yeah. So today we are inching towards 70 plus now. I think it's today it's there is some uh, statistic in the newspaper saying some 69.3 something we have reached, but generally, generally over 70, it is touching 70 plus. So that is an incredible achievement for a nation. How did we do it? One thing is various medical things are there, vaccinations and this and that, childhood vaccinations and stuff. But the important thing is, we are able to provide food for everybody. We used to have famines, which we were clearing up populations earlier. So now we don't have those things, it's a great thing. But these measures that we took to cross over, uh, what do you say, famines, to cross over famine situations, it is like a bridge, it's an emergency bridge that we built. Mm. If you get onto a bridge, Somewhere you have to get down, I think we are seeing ceiling, which uh, Mumbai are very famous of one yes. bridge they built. Yes, <laughs> yes, and they're very excited about it. Yes. It's helped. So if you it's get onto the bridge, on that side, somewhere you have to get off. Anji. If you stay on the bridge for good, that means you're on a bridge to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is what happened to us. We got onto a bridge to get over the famine and situations. Anyway. We did successfully. We have to appreciate and admire those decisions, hard decisions to be made, at that time they were made. And we did avoid famines for the last seventy years, uh, it's a great achievement. But, but this is the flip somewhere, side. somewhere we should have gotten down, but we did not. So now is the time to do that, because such a large uh, nation to take drastic action, I mean, some drastic situations are needed, unfortunately. So I feel the change is there because just your campaign, which is also not, not only Indian but global, I could have this conversation with my friends or even youngsters there that there is such an issue. So I think that's that's number one. And then B, we all have to be optimistic about the future that we would no, no, hopefully. No, it's not about that. Being optimistic about the future won't help. We need policies. Mm. See, for example, in Mumbai, if you have 10,000 square feet of land, mm. am I suggesting an impossible acre size? Yeah, 10,000 square feet is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be… Okay, make uh, it 5,000. At Mr. Ambani's level. <laughs> <laughs> if you had 5,000 uh, square feet of land, and you it. can't build 5,000 square feet of building. They'll allow you to build some 3,000, 4,000, whatever is the law. And if you build more, they will come and demolish. Mm. But if you have ten acres of agricultural land, you can plow every inch of it. In ten years' time, you can turn it into a desert. Nobody will even ask you, why did you do it? Because there are no laws. So what should we do? The th thing is, it's not that you have to restrict agriculture. All you have to do is, it must become a norm, it must become a policy that if you want to keep agricultural land, minimum three percent organic content must be there. 
But how will we get the farmers there? Because in India, average is 0.68 percent right now. You must give a substantial incentive. You must up… you must make the incentive attractive enough so that everybody will get there. We have met your chief minister and Anju. your environment minister, minister yesterday. Anju. And he was also at the event. They are uh, full gung-ho about this, they want to do it. So I think that kind of enthusiasm in the chief ministers important. is very important. The same with Madhya Pradesh, the same with UP. And we also had very encouraging meetings with uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat. So if they take these steps, is something that we have definitely some... it will happen because you have to make the incentive attractive enough. In this, there are various ways to craft the economic aspect of it because there are small and medium farmers which accounts for really nearly eighty-four percent of the farmers in the country. And but they plough forty-seven point six percent of the land. So, that will be easy to do, that's a low-hanging fruit. They must go for the small and medium farmers because even if you give them a small incentive, they'll go for it because it Correct. matters to them. So, how a government crafts the policy is up to them. So, we have given them a technical handbook as to how it can be done. We prepared 193 documents like this for 193 different nations. Oh, wow. Based on Specifically the, for them? Yes, yes. Based wow. on the latitudinal position, uh, soil type, economic conditions of a given nation and agricultural traditions of that nation. Why agricultural traditions is? Even if you have all the signs on your side, you? you cannot change agricultural traditions overnight. You have to work with it. So, taking these into consideration, we made 193 documents like this and presented at the COP15, which has reached every nation. Everybody is looking at it. Seventy-four nations are already committed. Others are examining wow. it. So, this is the way forward. We need a policy. Incentive-based policy, you can't make a punitive policy because farm economy is so fragile. If you touch it, it'll collapse. Yeah, especially we need to safeguard our farmers. Well, again, coming back to… I always get intrigued that in your lifetime, did you, was it always uh, in your younger days? Is it something that was brewing inside the seed of doing this campaign or even the previous campaign you did for… I remember when we met last, I was in Mumbai, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. we, you had a chat with uh, another, uh, you know, Bollywood celebrity and we met backstage and you were talking about water at that time. And yeah, now this time it's soil. Rally for rivers you're yes, talking about. Yes, Rally now, for rivers. That is now the recommended parallel policy for all the 28 states. Which and is amazing, which, yes. which has And that then we manifested that on ground in a… with a movement called sure. Kaveri Calling. Uh, so, seeing the success of that project, the central government made detailed project reports for thirteen river basins. Mm. Kaveri Basin covers eighty-three thousand square kilometers and five point two million farmers. Now they made detailed project reports for thirteen. Wow. These thirteen river basins cover sixty-seven percent of India's geography. Now we've been pushing for it to action. Just now when I was in the ride somewhere in Eastern Europe, I got the news they allocated nineteen thousand crores. Uh, for this thirteen river base. If that kind of budget and action goes on, in the next change. eight to twelve years' time, India's soil will be above the crest. It's all connected. Yes, very connected. So, why did it start, Sadhguruji? Like, did you… did you… like, is it something that struck you in the recent no, uh, see, thing or… Think this is the main thing I do, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one small one part thing. of it. My real work is with human beings Anji. because there's only one problem on the planet, human beings. <laughs> Tell me, if we are not there, what's the problem on this planet? Everything it is would, fine. It would flow fine, <laughs> correct, yes. absolutely, absolutely. So, we'll my work good. is uh, to engineer human beings in such a way that they are a solution, not a problem. Because we are the highest level of intelligence, but we have become a problem. We shouldn't be. We should have been the biggest solution. True. And we True. can become. If we… if our actions are not compulsive but conscious, we can become. That's why the Save Soil movement is under the banner of Conscious Planet. Without conscious action, this intelligence is a bloody dangerous thing. Correct. Only if you consciously act, this is a beautiful thing. And if you are compulsive with this level of intelligence, it can be chaotic. <laughs> well, we've all suffered. I think in recent uh, age, what we suffer is more than our ancestors today. Our thoughts and our… Uh, and the pressure of society, which I was asking you before, because well, you can't… Pressuring you, man. Come on. I mean, it's… 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 it's human. I think everybody yeah. wants to know how… When you're… pressuring you? Everybody's saying what they want to say. You say what you want to say. What's the problem? 
I'll ask to come with that. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Correct. But then, then, then you, then they make People you feel. People ask me, Sadhguru, how do you handle this pressure? Anji. Media trolling. How do you handle this? Anji. What are they to handle? They are doing it. It's, mm. That's all that's they know. Bit, yeah. that's, that's all they know. Right. So they're doing that. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> what well, can I do about that? Now, right now, the important thing is because you were asking, what can an ordinary person do? Anji. What he can do is raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice, and keep it there. Because till the policies happen and action gets on the ground, you must give that mandate to the government. We are with mm. you. If when you take long-term activities, see, when you take long-term action, make, make long-term investments, something short-term will suffer, all right? Anji. Unless people give a mandate, government will never take that because they have only five-year mandate. Correct. They're trying to do things within the five years. So Correct. give them a mandate that we are concerned about long-term well-being of life on this planet, of this country, of our children, we are concerned. Mm. If you don't give a mandate, how will a government do it? Absolutely. No, we have to take it uh, personally and use our fingers to do something good for this time and then to just tweet selfies or Instagram it, so... You have a smart friend. Yes. So, a smart yes. phone, right? Yes. So, if you have a smart guy in your pocket, you can send some silly messages, that's okay with me. But rest of the time, this is a powerhouse, you must use it right. Use it for the right purposes. I think that's a lovely note for us to, to take back, and especially today's day and age of social media and kids who are, you know, on uh, camera all the time. You think we are the only ones that are on camera, they're more used to than us now today at a young age. The thing is, you are having things that no generation ever had. Correct. In Correct. terms of comforts, conveniences, technology, ability to reach people. And ability to reach people means also means ability to transform the world. Absolutely. All this you have and you complain, I got too many things. But this is rubbish. When we were growing up, uh, the only way, only way we can communicate to somebody is shout to our neighbor, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Correct, singing songs or whistling. We learn to whistle so that whistle. we can be heard a little longer, that is the only communication. Today you have to just move your fingers. Yeah, so when you have all this, you crib. So you are a crib, a cry, a cry baby anyway. Even if we put you in 22nd century or 10 centuries later, you will be crying only. If you were here 10 centuries before, you would be crying. crying. So Come cry babies need to transform themselves. <laughs> Not complain True. about the times in which we are. True. True. Well, that's a lovely note and I think hopefully all of us and everybody watching will take inspiration with this. Thank I you. personally enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And hopefully good luck to your next endeavor in riding and physical <laughs> fitness and nutrition. We actually missed out. I need to know what your secret ingredient. How many meals do you have? <laughs> Only one meal a day. Only one meal a day. <laughs> <laughs> and that would consist of, are you, are you picky what you eat or is it uh, uh, I would be, I'm, I would be if there were choices, you, but most of the time what kind of food comes to me and when it comes to me... It matters. No, it, but, uh, <laughs> it's not in my hands. Do you, do, you, do you have favorites? Do you have like a favorite thing that you crave? Do you crave anything? Uh, no. No, do you I like don't you crave anything which, but... Like we have sweet sweets or some sabzi or some fruit or dill. Mangoes, you like no, mangoes? No, if you eat my cooking, then you will stay as my slave, so I don't want to introduce <laughs> you to it. <laughs> I would love to, I would love to. I would really love to. Yeah, have you had your first meal today? No. Uh, it'll come. <laughs> it'll come, whenever. I've been on mango diet now. With mango diet? <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet energy and lovely uh, So, about schedules... You get time to... This, uh, if we count this also as an event... Anji. This should be some 535th even, oh, wow. since March 25. Wow. Since March, and you'll be correct, you've been non-stop. Yep. Wow. So, approximately eight to nine events per day, plus riding. But riding is something I've seen you, you love. Yeah. That's something... For the, uh, nearly 32 years, I never touched a motorcycle. But before that, you did. That was something... Yes, you're... early on, I rode a lot. But uh, people... I think today because there are a lot of people who are motorcycle fans, they're Harley Davidson groups, uh, like what uh, BMW groups, Anji. Enfield groups like this in India. Anji. They are all thinking they are motorcyclists. I don't think, I don't think of myself like that. When I was young, that was the only thing that could take me where I want. Yeah, so I chose a motorcycle. And uh, yeah, that time it was just a practical solution of freedom. Plan for freedom was motorcycle. Uh, how, so, many, how many kilometers did you do in those times? Like, would you? I have not counted, but on an average, you know, like uh, every four months, I used to reboard my engine. 
Oh wow! Yeah, that much. And you, and I'm yeah, guessing that by then you would know how to fix. Uh, I gladly because we couldn't afford to go to the garage. No, I need to fix it. Those yeah. also more mechanical car bikes which yeah. you could fix. This you can't even. Open. Yeah, this yeah. you can't open. Correct, correct. So every, I think many times I've changed uh, tires four times in a year, four to five times. Uh, so many years I've done fifty-five to sixty thousand kilometers per year at that time. At that time. But after that thirty-two years I never sat on a motorcycle. I was just busy doing whatever. So sure. only during Rally for Rivers somebody uh, brought a motorcycle right. and said, Sadhguru, why don't you ride? I couldn't believe that I can even drive today after thirty-two years. Then I sat on this motorcycle and then I found I haven't lost a day. Since then, I've been riding again. <laughs> no, for someone who's ridden a little bit, it takes a lot to be on that posture and, and be alert. And hats off to you, Sadhguru. It's a great sense of inspiration what you said in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Come. <laughs> That's the track. See, you got the moves, Adhuji. I think you're just. You should make a Bollywood debut I, next. I have seen a lot of nervous people there always. <laughs> <laughs> next is your. I think next is a film featuring you. That'll be great. Save soil. You make a film on it. <laughs> when you shoot, you could be. You could be a part of it. That'll be a first. You've been riding. You've been talking to people, making videos, and influencing it. We should. I think that's no, something no. that I'll take up now. We do a, a lot of other things to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll Not come. Making we'll, movies. We'll come and use this a movie for a good cause and exactly what you said. You do it. People. You do it. We'll I will. You. Anji, Anji. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It's been lovely. Come, we are heading back to now. the yoga center. No, we go to Taravi. There is a rap wow. show. Arey, wow. Correct. They're very good. Those kids are very good. That's lovely, but they do the way with words. I don't have to do rap. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you mm. lots of luck and more mangoes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, have a better, better. I just want to introduce you. Yeah. Actually, I want to click a selfie with him. With my phone? No, no. Sir, we click a selfie with. Yeah. Want to click a selfie with your helmet? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're looking lovely in this. Yeah, yeah because you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sadhguruji. Thank you, Sadhguru. Why are you so putting that wine? Okay. Thank you, Sadhguruji. See you.